The image of tramway cars going up and down the mountain is pretty common, but one thing that is rare is to see a tram car stuck in the mountain with a bunch of people stuck in there in the dead of winter. The Sandia Peak Tramway has taken more than 12 million people up to the peak of the Sandia Mountains at 10 p.m. on what was supposed to be the last tram ride down of 2021 turned into a rescue. We were notified about 2 a.m. of a uh, incident that occurred on the tram in which uh, a total of 21 people were trapped. That's when the Bernalillo County Fire Department was called. We're trying to figure out what happened between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., but tramway management has not gotten back to us to answer that question. We do know between 2.30 and 2.45 a.m., the New Mexico State Police Search and Rescue were called to evaluate the situation. Then... The operation started for us on the ground about 5 a.m., uh, we started a team that was hiking up towards Tram Tower 2. It took the hikers four and a half hours to hike up and reach the trapped people. Meanwhile, around 6 a.m., the Bernalillo County Undersheriff and helicopter pilot was called in too. The process is, is taking a while because we've had waves of weather that, is, that have come in, uh, low visibility and, and snow, and we kind of have to wait wait it out. I think the most nervous part was getting the 6.30 a.m. phone call. From 7 a.m. on, rescue crews figured out a way to rope passengers down from the tram car, then walk them over to a rescue helicopter. Each rescue took about five to ten minutes to rescue two people at a time. The last person was finally rescued around 3.30 in the afternoon. The restaurant on top of the mountain 10-3 can be accessed by road, but it does require a mile and a half hike. According to the website for the restaurant, they say they will be closed until Thursday. Reporting at Sandia Peak Tramway, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. We have contacted several state agencies to find out who is investigating this. According to the Environment Department, since no employees have reported injuries, the State Occupational Health and Safety Bureau is not looking into this.